Hello and welcome to Megger's technical support videos, where today we will be discussing the three-phase turns ratio and winding resistance form 56,000 test settings. Once you have opened your three-phase winding resistance and turns ratio test form 56,000, the top left corner you will notice a blue button labeled test settings. If you click that, a window will pop up with multiple tabs for test settings. On the left you have active instrument in which we have chosen the MWA. If we were testing with an MTO or the TTR we could select the appropriate instrument, connect and test with that instrument. Next you have test sections. Here we have our turns ratio on the left and winding resistance on the right. This allows us to configure the test in which in any way we see fit. For instance Right now, in default, you have primary nominal to secondary taps. You can also enable primary taps to secondary nominal. At the bottom, you have the ability to also perform a manual test in which you have a section that will pop up that allows you to test turns ratio manually. Similarly, on the right, you can select winding resistance for your secondary and your primary or whichever configuration of the two you want. Also, you have manual test at the bottom, which opens up a section similar to turns ratio where you're able to manually perform your winding resistance measurement. Also, for winding resistance, you have the ability to test phase to phase. So if you have a winding that has a neutral, instead of testing phase to neutral, you would be able to test phase to phase. And finally, you have the ability to add a tertiary. If your transform has a tertiary, you can simply enable it by clicking the button has tertiary. And we can see we have popped up now our turns ratio to our tertiary and the winding resistance for our tertiary. The next tab is the general settings. Here we can choose from different standards such as ANSI or IEC or Australian. You can also enable or disable the vector diagram number or hide untested rows. Here you have the ability to override tap labels. You can deselect that to where you can't override the tap labels or you can have that selected in which it gives you the ability to override your primary tap labels within these four or your secondary tap labels as well as change the raise and lower suffix from the default R and L if you wish. Next we have our turns ratio settings. Here we have our test voltage which is set on default to auto. You can change that to 8 volts, 40 volts, 80 volts or keep it on automatic. Below that we have the turns ratio allowed error which by default is set to 0.5. This can be modified to whichever allowed error percentage you deem fit. Next, you can override calculated voltages. So if the calculated voltage is not correct, you can override that. And below that, you have round tap voltages to either the 1, 5, or 10 volts. Next, you have the ratio display, which is by default is turns ratio, but could be changed to nameplate ratio. Also, your phase display which by default is in degrees, can also be set to minutes. Finally, we have our winding resistance settings. You have your test current in amps, which is set to recommended. You can change that to any one of these settings here. Here, we have our winding percentage difference, which is by default is set to 2% or 5 microohms. Both of these values can be modified based on the testing. Below that you have your max winding difference calculation which changes the way it calculates the winding difference. By default it's set to the ANSI IEC but you can also change it to CEE and you can notice that the calculation changes. Below that you have the corrected ohm based on your temperature which gives you your 85 degrees C value. You can also get your print, me, print your measured plus your corrected value if you wish. To the right, you have the ability for your reading stability indicator. 
This by default is set to percent change. That could be changed to last digit in which the stability indicator is indicated by the last digit or the percentage of change of the reading. Here you have the stability valid for the reading. So the, the reading must be 99.6% stable before being valid. And it must be stable for 11 seconds. Both of these can be modified into the percentage and the time that you wish. Automatic data recording can be turned on or off. That way it can save you some time. And finally, you have the break before make sensitivity, which is for your tap changer. This allows you to change the break before make sensitivity by 5, 20, 50, 80, or 100 milliseconds. And ultimately, you can accept these, cancel. You can save these settings as default. Therefore, if you come up in another test and want to load your default settings, those settings would be saved as default. And ultimately, you have load factory settings to where if we were to click that, it would be all of the default settings that we had before. And you can see that where we had all of the test selections selected. Now it's back to the default. Thank you for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos. And tune in to some of our other videos for more information.